We're here at the Western Resort and Spa Cancun, and you know what that means. It's time for a resort tour. I'm gonna to take you on one right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Time Chair. I'm Jeremy. We're here at the Western Resort and Spa Cancun. And in fact, this is actually only partially a timeshare property. Only one building, two view types. They do have three bedroom, two bedroom, and studio villas in Lagoon Side and in Oceanside. But most of the rest of the property is in fact a hotel, just a traditional Western Resort property. So it is actually a little bit different experience than many of our other timeshare resort stays. But it is still a wonderful resort, great pools, great places to hang out. So let's head in and check it out. Okay, so here we are kind of just inside the main entrance to the Western Resort and Spa Cancun. That is the security gate down there where you'll enter off the main road there. That goes up and down through the hotel zone here in Cancun. So when you come in, you're actually gonna go up this hill here. And uh, we are here early in the morning. So we do have a bright rising sun. But up here, you're gonna have the Western on the right. And over on the left-hand side, we're going to have the Club Regina Rain Tree property. So let's head up here. We'll take a little bit closer look at that at the top of the hill. Okay, so here we are. Made it to the top of the hill. There is the Rain Tree Vacation Club, Club Regina. And then over here, we'll just kind of go back around. We do have the pull-up area here for the Weston Resort and Spa Cancun. And there's a big traffic circle here that kind of is shared by both properties. All right, now we'll just take a quick walk in here. I wanna show you one thing. Then we're gonna head over there toward the lobby. Yeah, so in here we do have kind of a little shop here, a little area to shop, drugstore, Cancun and souvenirs, it says. They do have quite a bit of jewelry in there, accessories, handbags, and alcohol as well, and several types of different souvenirs. So but we're gonna walk back here, and this goes into the lobby. This kind of also goes down to the convention center and they also have a wedding area here as well. ATM right over there. And there is also a fitness center down here, but I think we're gonna see if we can point that out a little bit later in a different area. So let's now head in here and take a look at the lobby. It's a pretty cool lobby that they have here at the Western Resort and Spa Cancun. You have the front check-in desk there. And then lots of seating around here. I also have the bell stand over here with really cool kind of ferns and plants growing on the back. And I did check, those are real. A really cool design on the ceiling here as well. You really kind of like this lobby area. It definitely has more of a hotel feel to it than a timeshare. Now they do also have plenty of kind of AC and USB and power outlets there. Beside all of these kind of little couches or sofas. So if you're Maybe have a late flight out and you want to sit here and relax, you can definitely do that. Now, over behind here, I mean, the way down to everything is kind of down that hallway, but I kind of discovered this last night, not sure what this is. So we're going to go in and check it out. It does have some kind of really cool doors there, but it's just a little area kind of for sitting. And uh, we do have some neat kind of painted, I guess kind of Mexican style chairs there. And again, a couple of sofas, window to the outside there's no way to really get out here but there is an elevator that looks like it goes down but there's also stairs so i'm going to take those it looks like maybe just kind of a little event room down here not really some place you probably come and hang out during your stay maybe they're going to have some type of little event here they have a coffee station set up over there tables and chairs set up balloons Let's see if we can go out here and see what's outside these windows well, I can't do that because they are locked. And so here we have the concierge area right outside the Western Vacation Club sales gallery. So come here. If you're staying on a timeshare stay, well, you can probably get an owner discount card as well for 10% off dining around the resort. And then in here you have Palmer Market. There is a marketplace in here, but this is also where they serve breakfast. So they do have a breakfast buffet. Doesn't look very busy in here, it is loud. There's some loud music playing, but if you're looking for breakfast, you can come here for the breakfast buffet. I hear it's maybe about $24, $25 US. So keep that in mind if you're looking for breakfast. But they do also have kind of a marketplace just on the other side there where you can get some light snacks as well. 
But head back out here, we're gonna carry on. So they kind of have some neat little seating areas along here. We really like the colors, the way this has been decorated. Now, this also goes out to the convention area. I believe the second floor of the convention area. There are a set of restrooms over there as well, but we're gonna see that on a different side. Again, more seating, really like the cool artwork on the wall there too. And they really have kind of some really cool design features around the property. Okay, now I don't think I've actually mentioned this before, but we are on the lobby level. This is kind of the second floor actually because everything else is down below here. All the amenities, the pools, the restaurants, the sports bar, all down one more level from here. So we're gonna probably head down there in just a moment, so let's go. Okay, so we're continuing on here and I'm noticing there are actually villa doors here. These would be lagoon side villas here on the lobby level. And it does go up to, I believe, six floors on both lagoon side and ocean side. So just found it interesting that we're basically walking past some villa doors here. This is the timeshare building. This resort, as I mentioned earlier, is kind of part timeshare, mostly hotel. Again, some more seating areas and really nice views out there to the Caribbean Sea. So now we're coming up to the set of elevators. These elevators, they look fairly new, fairly good condition, but they make a lot of noise when they go up and down and the doors open and close. And this hallway here leads to hotel rooms. So if you're staying in a hotel room, when you get off the elevators, well, you'd be going to the right. And if you're in a timeshare unit, you'd be going to the left. So let's head downstairs. That's where all the action is. Okay, so we just got off the elevator. We're coming to the left here because up here we have Arena Sports Bar. We ate here last night. It's, uh, you know, just okay. But uh, kind of a really nice little decor in here. Everything looks like it's been freshly kind of renovated. Kind of got new furniture, new flooring here, new chairs. Bar looks like it's been redone. So definitely kind of a nice little area here to come and just sit, relax. Plenty of big screen televisions to watch whatever game or sporting event that they have on. So that is the Arena Sports Bar. Okay, now let's head out this door here. This is going to be the Lagoon Pool. Yeah, so out here is the Lagoon Pool. Now we noticed yesterday, this pool literally had nobody at it. Maybe two people were just sitting in a pool lounger. Well, and I guess because the views aren't quite as nice from the pool out here, but nice little pool here it does have some steps down in. So that's definitely a good thing, but really nice little pool area so if you're looking for a quiet place to relax well this would probably be it now over here they do have a flow rider i'm not sure if it still works or if they even still use it but they do have a flow rider haven't seen it running at all while we've been here but again we've only been here one night so far and this is our only full day at the property now just pointing out over on this side these are the timeshare villas these are lagoon side so all of these villas face the lagoon so if you're in a lagoon side well you'll have a view of this pool and then out to the lagoon that we'll see here in just a moment because they actually have a beach down at the lagoon coming back here we do have the weston family kids club and it looks like this is maybe part of it as well because they have a little play area in here so this is for the kids club small play area it is of course closed at the moment and then just in there is also where you'll find the banquet center, conference room, stuff like that. I believe also in there, it's either the second or the third floor where you'll find the fitness center and the gym. So you can get to it through here, you can get to it through, I guess the main lobby area as well. So that is where you'll find that. And if I have some clips or some video of the fitness center, well, you'll have been seeing them on the screen here. So hopefully that helps you out if you like to visit the gym or fitness center while you're vacationing. And now we're just gonna take a little bit of a walk down this way yeah so over here they actually have a set of gas grills so if you're staying here on property maybe in a timeshare unit they don't have ovens so you want to cook something up maybe some steaks maybe some chicken some fish whatever it might be well you do have access to gas grills and they look like they're fairly new they're definitely stainless steel so pretty good to have gas grills and then there's a little seating area over here as well and something that looks like it's closed off at the moment. And while we've been looking at the gas grills, maybe you've kind of seen it here, maybe you haven't, but there's a beach down here on the lagoon side. I'm gonna go down there and we'll just take a quick look around. 
So I haven't actually been down there yet. So it is going to be a bit of an adventure finding the pathway over to that lagoon side beach. So I'm just passing the flow rider again. And I guess this is maybe where they sign you up, set you up, have you sign the release waiver for the flow rider. And just have some more kind of seating here. And something else I want to point out, and we'll see this more on the other side. It looks like all of these common areas have been renovated. All new stone, all new staircases, all of that. We'll see that a little bit more kind of over on the main side, the main pool area. But yeah, let's head down here. Looks like I found the staircase, the pathway over to the lagoon beach. Yeah, so it looks like a nice little wooden type walkway. I'm sure it's that new material that you know stands up a lot better than wood does. But they do also have a little gazebo area here. Nothing under it. Maybe there'll be chairs or tables under it at some point. But a little gazebo under here. So that's kind of neat. And out here is the lagoon beach. Really nothing fancy, nothing spectacular. They have some palm trees out here for shade. And kind of those standard issue plastic chairs looks like maybe they've put the ones over here that are maybe in a little bit rougher shape a little bit older because i don't think this area really gets used all that much because i don't think you can actually swim here because there's signs that say no swimming no fishing be careful of alligators crocodiles snakes entering the lakes ponds and feeding or harassing or provoking wildlife of any kind is strictly prohibited never leave children or service animals unsupervised near the water so yeah you can't swim here there are some cool birds out there but really nice peaceful area here at least the lagoon side here at the Weston Resort and Spa Cancun again just one more look at the chairs for lounging out here all of them in fact underneath a palapa okay now that we've seen the lagoon side let's head over and take a look at the ocean side a lot more happening over there you have the triangle pools we'll show you those are kind of unique you have kind of one of their main restaurants you have a bar over there as well and some additional pool areas so let's carry on okay so now we're coming out here to the other side the ocean side of the resort and here you have seating outside for arena sports bar now coming out here is where we're going to start finding the towel hut over there so if you need some towels well come there and get them and then down here is kind of i guess you could call it the main pool you have some steps in there it does have swim up bar down there at the end let's head down to that level and check it out okay so here we are kind of the main pool area here i guess you could say it's not very big but they have essentially four pools here at the resort so we'll be checking out the two we haven't seen so far but lots of seating here over here under this kind of awning is the swim up bar didn't really notice it all that busy yesterday when we were here so it definitely not hard getting a seat at the swim up bar but and there is a look at the timeshare units here the ocean side ones at least that look out to the ocean so all of the timeshare units do have balconies where when you look over here at what is the hotel units that kind of extend all the way down that way only the top floors have balconies it looks like so i'm kind of thinking that when they renovated these timeshare units they essentially kind of somehow attached or put balconies out on the front of those for everything below the top floor so definitely kind of an interesting endeavor they're undertaking here and it seems like they're moving fairly slow and maybe they won't ever convert the entire property to timeshare but again the swim up bar nice little area down here kind of sunken down in where you can maybe get a table and have a beverage as well and then over here you have kind of an upper level that is of sand but no access directly to the water from here because there's a big kind of wall there retaining wall over there so we'll take a look at that when we go down to the beach so definitely a nice little area plenty of places to sit and relax because you also have palapas there for shade pretty much almost every chair here seems to be in the shade now we're coming up here to the sea and stones restaurant this is what i've been told one of the only oceanside restaurants here in cancun great views from these tables out to the caribbean sea and also as you can see great views up and down the coastline the entire hotel zone here in cancun but i'm not sure how well you can see it but the sea here is a little bit calmer than some other areas of cancun as it is protected a little bit more offshore but it looks like a little bit of wave action happening here but again really beautiful area here 
supposed to be a really great place to come and have dinner here at the Sea and Stones restaurant at the Weston Resort and Spa Cancun. So continuing on here, we're actually coming up on what is another pool that actually kind of looks like three pools when you look at it, but it's really just one kind of continuous pool. It does have a little bridge that goes here, but it is interconnected underneath there. But these are what they call the triangle pools. And you kind of understand why they call them that because essentially it's three triangle areas here of pool. And they kind of do have some interesting lounge seating in here. So you can kind of sit right at water's edge, a little bit in the water even, while you're enjoying the triangle pools. We do also have the marketplace in here. We saw that kind of from up above, but we'll stop in here as well on the way back. But again, there's another view of the triangle pools here at the resort. Really kind of neat little feature. They were pretty warm when we were in them yesterday. And down here, we'll just go over here and take a quick look. There's a hot tub spa over here. Okay, yeah, so here is the hot tub slash spa that they have at the resort. There's a button here to turn on the jets. So again, it's kind of a little triangle shape. Definitely neat little architectural feature here. Again, looking back at those three triangle pools just up above the Sea and Stones restaurant. So let's head back this way. We're gonna take a look at the marketplace. I noticed over here, looks like a little patio area. I think this was actually the room in here was what I was looking at earlier where it looked like it might have been a little bit of an event space. Well, there's a little patio area here as well. Now let's head back this way, we'll make a trip through the marketplace and then there is still a little bit more to see. So let's just take a quick walk through the marketplace. So they have a number of different kind of souvenir items. I've obviously, as you've noticed, been here and bought a cap. They do have some alcohol, kind of plenty of snacks, that kind of thing. Stainless steel tumblers, say Cancun on them, magnets. And then over here, oh, it looks like they have some ice cream here as well. This is where the Palmer Marketplace, the buffet area where I showed they were serving breakfast is located. You can't get to it through here because they have it closed off, but over here they also have a number of different grocery items and they serve Starbucks coffee. And so again, just one last quick look at what they might have, what you might be interested in when you visit the Weston Resort and Spa Cancun. So now let's head back outside. We're gonna walk down along, I guess you could say the front of the resort and take a look at a couple last things that I want you to see. All right, so making our way through here. You do have a bar right here. So they are serving beverages here all day long, just about. And I believe they actually have kind of poolside food and beverage service so it does probably come from the bar here and then also food maybe from inside there but as we're going to continue on down here I'm actually going to I guess I'll walk this way in front of the hotel units you do have I think I pointed out earlier the towel hut so if you need towels go which you probably will go over there and grab them or pick them up I noticed during the day they ask you for your room number and then they write it down but they don't log you when you bring them back. They just have places to toss them. So I don't know why that is. Like, what's the point in asking for a room number other than maybe making sure people kind of know that they're staying here. Now here are hotel units and these ones actually have little terraces out front. So ground floor has a little terrace and top floor has those balconies. And they kind of have a number of different areas with fake grass. We'll cut through right here and just take a look at some of the poolside seating and this one, I would say it has fake grass, but it looks like it also has some weeds growing up through it, or maybe they've pulled weeds that are growing around the edges, but it's a little interesting. I've never seen fake grass with weeds growing in it before. But let's continue down here. We're gonna take a look at the beach. I think I mentioned just a couple of things that I need to still show you. Well, maybe it's a few more than a couple. We definitely wanna take a look at the beach. Then one more thing right at the very end. All right, so here is your beach access. The resort is set up on top of a hill, it seems. I'm not gonna go all the way down there, but they do have a set of stairs down to the beach. And then again, 
really great views of the Caribbean Sea here in Cancun. One thing I noticed, there really isn't a lot of competition for pool chairs or beach loungers around this resort. We stayed at the Western Laguna Mar last week and all of the poolside loungers were full pretty much by 7 a.m. But you'll notice here, there isn't even anybody at the pool yet. That's probably almost 8 a.m. now. So definitely not the same type of competition for pool loungers, beach loungers, or anything like that as there is up at that big resort in the heart of the hotel zone. I did do a resort tour video of the Western Laguna Mar. If you want to see that, I will put a link to it up in the upper right. So check that out. It too is a fantastic property, even though all of the poolside beach loungers are gone by 7 a.m. All right, so they have a kind of a pathway that goes all the way down in front of the property. So nice little walkway down along the beach in front of those hotel units right now. We'll continue down here because at the very end, there is actually something else, another pool area. Okay, so right now we're at what they call on the map, at least Tower D. Now I did come down the pathway, the walkway that comes from the other end of the resort all the way down here. But if you want air conditioned walkway, well, you can walk through the hotel room hallways down to here as well but we're going to head in through here and take a look there's a few things in here and then on the other side there is that pool area i previously mentioned and so in here they kind of just have a small little lobby found it it really doesn't serve as a lobby you can't check in check out here they have a concierge here during the day elevators over there to get up to your room then in here i think this might actually be closed at the moment and might not open up for me oh it does they do have kind of a bar and restaurant in here so bar area up here restaurant seating here no i didn't ask them i believe it closes at 5 p.m during the day i didn't ask them what time it opens but when they serve you food they just bring the food from up at the other end of the resort obviously looks like they probably do have a full bar here and then the pool area is right out here so let's head out and take a look at that yeah, so down here, you do have another pool area. And I think this one here might be even less busy than the lagoon pool. And one big drawback of this one is there are no steps down into the pool. You only have essentially what looks like one ladder over there on the other side. So no stairs, no easy way in and out if you have mobility issues. But we're in what they called Tower D on the map. It is, of course, also hotel units and it looks like it might have been built at a different time than the rest of the resort, just kind of given the architecture. Now we are in what they call Tower D here. And it looks like, in fact, these all have balconies. I can kind of see them through that kind of, I don't know, interesting architectural design work there. Bottom floor does have kind of patios, but the rest of them look like they all have balconies on all floors, kind of a little bit different than the rest of the property. And then over here, looks like kind of have a hot tub that's connected to the pool. Not sure how hot the hot tub gets. Maybe they use that to kind of heat the pool during the day, or maybe you can just sit in here and has jets. I'm not too sure. Another pathway down to the beach. This area, I believe, actually goes down towards, I believe, the Club Med is down there. So somewhere down there, at least, you'll find it. Looks like there's a Cancun 2023 sign way down there. So if you want to walk down the beach, maybe take your picture in front of that. Well, you can do that too. All right, so just one last look here at the pool area in this section at the Western Resort and Spa Cancun. And if you want to see another video from here at the resort, we stayed in an Oceanside Studio Villa. So I'm going to put a room tour up here on the screen. So head over and check that out. We're coming right up next. Thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.